Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm showing you actually not really a project, but more of just a feature within Design Space and how to go about changing colors and customizing more of the SVG file. So this is Christmas and it comes in two colors. So if you were like me back in the day when I first started, I literally could not make any changes to any files. <laughs> so I wanna show you there's a couple different ways to do this. So I know that Christmas here is um, in two colors, red and green, right? So what you can do is if you go to ungroup this, then you can actually move everything, right? So if we wanted to, for instance, in this case, we wanted to change uh, Christmas into, a, a, each letter is a different color, okay? So what you would do in that case is, um, there's a couple, couple ways we can do this. We can either, um, let me think of the best way. I'm gonna keep this up here just so that we can see it, okay? So um, let's duplicate this so you can see what I'm doing. So go to duplicate. I'm thinking in my head, what's the best way I would do this? Okay, so here's the original. Here is what we're gonna be changing, right? So the first thing I would do is I would take the red, oh, the red is up here, and I would go to contour. And I would hide it all. When you hide it all, it actually leaves you the M, but we're gonna start with the C, okay? So I'm gonna leave the C and I'm gonna remove the M. So basically from this um, image, I'm removing everything but the letter C. So here is my letter C. So I can change this to, if we wanted to, change it to purple. Um, the H. So what happens is, in this case, I'm gonna to need to duplicate this a few times because I'm basically going to be removing a letter each, or I'm gonna be keeping one letter each time, right? So I have the C, now I want the R. So I need four more uh, letters, right? I need an R, S, M, and S, right? Um, so I can duplicate this and make sure that I have four copies. And for each copy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna keep a different letter, right? So in this case, I'm gonna hide all, let's keep the M this time. Okay, so here's my M and I'm gonna change my M to blue. Okay, then the next one, I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna hide all again. And it's gonna leave me this, the M again. I already have the C, I want the R. I don't want the M, but I also, within the R, I want the inside of the R. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. So here's my R, right? Because I hit everything but the general outline of the R. So I'm gonna need to go back to contour and actually say, you know, not, I wanna get rid of everything. The only thing that I have right now is the R, but I also want the inside of that. So I'm gonna click on it, and now I have it. So contouring is, it's an amazing friend that I was not friends with for a very, very long time. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, yeah, that was my mistake. I should have figured out how to use it. It's so easy um, and it makes your life easier. All right, so all that we have left is the two S's, right? So here I'm gonna go to contour again and hide all and it's gonna leave me the top one. Because when you hide all, it always has to default and leave you one. Otherwise, if it actually did in fact hide all, the whole thing would disappear, right? So hide all leaves everything but one. I want my S, I don't want my M, and here's my S. And in fact, it's probably easier to just duplicate this S than to go through the same process again. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Here are my two S's, right? and you know we can change it to whatever color we want. So the same thing is gonna happen to the green if you wanted to change the green. So I'm gonna bring this down for a second and because we wanna break this up into four letters, then we need four copies. Or I'm gonna show you the other way to do it. So I showed you contouring. In this case, we, we have another option. 
a lot of times you don't have another option because the letters or your images are so close together you can't use slice but in this case we have lots of space in between i'm going to show you how to use slice um, which is another option than using contour so in slicing what i'm doing is i'm basically slicing one thing out of the whole image because hita is moving as one item right it's as if it was um i don't know a rainbow so it's like one rainbow or one word with that happens to have four letters okay so i'm slicing out the a okay so basically i'm going to take my shape my square here and i'm going to cover only the a and now i'm going to grab the the words and the square and slice you can only slice two items at one time so it's going to be my square and my image if you don't grab two items then slicing will be grayed out like it is right now okay all right so here we go i'm going to remove this part and what happens is this slice this a sliced out of the square i don't need that one but look at now my green a is by itself so i can put it up here the rest of this is still one item so again i can use the same square and I'm gonna now make sure that my T is completely covered in the square and only the T, okay? So now I'm gonna grab these two items and slice. So now my T is gonna be separated from the HIT. I slice the T out of the image. Okay, so I'm gonna delete that and move this T up here. And then I have these two. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if I'm gonna rotate this so it's clean, okay? Um, I'm gonna move my square where it touches the H a little bit, okay? So this is not what you wanna do. You want to make sure that your eye and only the eye is covered in that square. But I wanna show you what happens when you don't have a clean cut, okay? So I'm grabbing the two items like we've been doing and we're slicing. But this time within the square is a little part of the H, right? So this is this is what's going to happen right here so when i move this out you see how the i is now has a little piece of the h and we don't want that so that's why you need to make sure that the square only covers the items that you want to remove that you want to slice out okay so um, then you can change the colors and now we took basically an SVG file that was only in two colors and now we can do whatever we want with it. <laughs> um, so you can take this T, you can change it to... And it's a very merry bright Christmas, which is one of my favorite um, themes when I go to like Joann's or something to see all of this. And then you can change this one as well. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Just a quick tip on how to change things. Um, and if you wanted to, like, let's say uh, for some reason, let's see, the A. The A kind of looks like a Christmas tree. So if you wanted to, you can remove this A and we can go to images. And in a second, Christmas, and I'm gonna add tree. Right, so you can start to really customize it. I mean, honestly, when I first started, it would take me forever to figure out something. Um, and a lot of times I couldn't even do what I had intended to do because it was already taking forever and I just couldn't do it. <laughs> and at some point I wanted a project done. So, all right, I'm gonna click on this one. Hit single color, add to canvas. And actually, I'm gonna go back to that because there was an example I wanna show you just to be clear about contouring and slicing. But you can easily put this in, right? And it still looks like Christmas. How cute is that, right? Okay, I'm gonna, so here, I'm, I'm gonna keep this even though I know this is not correct, right? Um, here, if I wanted to get rid of this, I could go to contour, right? And remove this little dot right here. So here's my eye. And then on this one, if I wanted to, this is what I could do too. I mean, really you should have um, just undo the whole action, right? 
but I'm gonna get rid of, on this one, I'm gonna get rid of the I, and I'm gonna weld back, I'm gonna fix my H. I'm gonna weld it back together and make it whole again. So I'm welding it, because it's in two pieces, now I'm welding it and smushing it into one piece. My H is back to what it should have been. So here's all my different colors. I took out the A, made it a Christmas tree, so you can see how much you can change this in comparison to the original. Okay, but let's go back to the images really quickly. And I wanted to show you something. This one. Now, you may have a preference as to whether you like to contour or weld. And I was saying that's just total personal preference. Um, sometimes I weld, sometimes I contour. I definitely use both. But sometimes you don't have an option, okay? And I wanted to show you, uh, this one's still not that good of an example. Hold on, let me show you one. Um, give me a second, let me go to my uploads. Sometimes you don't have an option because everything is so close together, okay? So let me see if I have a good, let me view all. I have some examples. So don't you worry, I have a really good, I, I use it all the time. Um, let me see, what would be a good example? Where are all my good examples? <laughs> of course, when I'm, oh, here, here's a good example. So this is my avatar. I absolutely love her. But I'm gonna scroll down for a second, okay? She's in a lot of pieces, so I get it. Um, let's say I was making this really, really big, okay? You see how the legs are so close together? Here, let me ungroup this. Sometimes when your pieces, your image is so close together, you can't slice it out because you can't get a clean cut. You can't isolate the one piece that you wanna slice out of the image. Um, if you can't isolate it, remember how the H and the I got messed up like that? That's what will, that is what will happen to your image. So, and I wanted to show you here, let me start deleting some of these things. You see how the legs are so close together? Like one, it has a slight curve, and then I have things down here. If it was just a slight curve and it kept going this way, maybe I could find like an oval that would fit. But the way this is, there's no way that I can slice this cleanly. If I wanted to separate the legs, I wouldn't be able to do it with slicing. I wouldn't be able to do it with a circle. I definitely can't do it with a square. You see how like it just, it wouldn't work even if I started to move things around. Um, I can't, I can't, this space right here and the shape of it is just too close. I can't get a clean cut. That's when you have to use contour. The only way to separate the legs cleanly on this would be to contour. Um, but sometimes when it's super like um, spacey, like between the, oops, what just happened right here? It just completely disappeared. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, if I wanted to separate the arm, for instance, I might be able to do that, but right now it would be tough, right? Because it goes like this. But if I only had the neck portion or my, um, you know, whatever we call this part. <laughs> if I only had this piece and this piece, then I can easily take this piece apart from that, right? I can I can make a small little square right here, cover up this, this area and remove it from the arm um, here. But, um, or if I wanted to do the face with the ears, that would be easy, right? I could do a big circle, isolate the face and the ears together and slice it from the rest of the body. But, um, like I said, this part would be hard. So that's when you don't have a choice. So you want to be comfortable using contour and slicing. They should both be tools in your tool bag. Um, all right.
I hope that was helpful. I will see you guys next time. If you want to see specific features like this, please let me know. Um, I would love to do an in-depth tutorial so that you really understand how to use Design Space. All right, bye.